Hey Raptors, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. If you're new around these parts, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really does mean a lot to us. Now today we are working on, in my opinion, the most fun part of a rig build. This is where we are optimizing the cards, we are trying to set max efficiency, and we are gonna grade ourselves on how well we did during this build. Okay guys, let's jump right in, here we go. So I want to show you a couple of things on how we have been working through this over the past couple of days. Now that leads me to this testing spreadsheet I wanted to show you all. This is what I have set up for working through iterations, testing this rig to find the best settings to make it the most efficient possible rig I can get. Now I'm just gonna walk you through a few things to orient you to the spreadsheet. Now you've probably seen some stuff like this or created your own. And if you have a better version of this, please share it with us. I would love to use it. I would love to see what you're using. But this is just by trial and error what I ended up putting together to help me work through this build. Now these columns here in red are the areas that I can set. These are the switches that I can flip in Hive OS. And I don't completely understand all of this. I've had some folks in Discord explain some of it to me. So for example, DPM, I, I, I sort of have my, my head wrapped around this. Uh, MDPM and the REF or RX boost. Uh, I think I've got this down, but the MDPM, I think that a lot of people don't use this, but I have found some recommended settings where it, it is used. What I don't understand is how I get this number. I've been able to look in the Polaris BIOS editor. I can see all of the information that's available, but I don't know where to start if I were not getting recommended settings from other people, where to grab this number and how to modify these others around it to get the best settings possible. But maybe you've got some feedback for me there. Anything you can do to help educate me or others, I would greatly appreciate it. All that being said, let's look at the rest of this. So on this spreadsheet, the most important piece for me when building a rig is the rig mega hash per watt. So this is the overall hash rate divided by the overall wattage, not an individual card. It's the overall wattage of the entire rig. So these numbers, when we look at the total totals for the rig, they're weighed down by anything extra we've got in there. So this, the processor, the memory, the risers, those are gonna be your, your biggest offenders that are gonna weigh down the efficiency of, of your rig here, along with your overclock settings, of course, that's a given. So right here, this is what I'm trying to max out. I'm trying to get the most efficient build I can possibly get. Now, I started out with some recommended settings before I jumped into Discord. And I wanted to show you guys this. If I come into Hive, uh, it's I, I kind of use this as a reference, or in this case, it was a good jumping off point. But you can come into your overclocks, and you can come up to, beside your default configs, there's something called popular presets. And if you select a coin, you tell them what card you have, what memory you have, you're gonna get some recommendations and a cardinality or basically the popularity of these presets. And for me, this is what I started with. I started with this preset for these 478 gigabyte minor edition cards from MSI. And it had a recommendation of a core of 1201 DPM7 memory of 2250. And I'll show you in the spreadsheet, for example, we'll, we'll jump to this. I tried this popular preset right here in this row and I had four cards at the time when I was testing this, four GPUs in the rig. And I was able to definitely get a great, what I call a vanity number, 31.225 mega hash per GPU. This is an average per GPU. So, I mean, some of these were upwards of 31 and a half. I think I had one even touch 32 mega hash. However, the issue is, this is the mega hash per watt here. It was just really awful. And my total 
watts for the rig, it just blew up. It went to 915 and I have to stay under, if you remember on this HP server power supply, I have to stay under on 110, 720 watts max is all I can do. Now I can plan when I move this to 220, which I've already done actually, I have a max of 960 on 220 with this HP server power supply. But keep in mind from the uh, earlier scenes in the video, I wanna have some space to add those two 580s that I've got. And this will leave me enough room, 960 watts, to add those two cards later. So I'm gonna go ahead and try, even though I'm moving this to 220, I'm gonna try to stay under the 720 watts not only for safety during testing, since I'm on 110, but so that I've got the headroom to add these two 580s once I get it put on 220. So I'm gonna touch on this spreadsheet a bit as I move forward through this testing, but I wanted you to see what I did is I tested, I started adding GPUs one at a time here. And I did some initial testing with one GPU and I started logging it once I put in that second GPU. And the reason I did this was one, to make sure that I didn't immediately blow out the power supply so I could creep up to the wattage, but two, it's just, it's just kind of a good idea as you're testing risers to add one at a time to make sure that if anything pops up, your troubleshooting goes a little bit easier for you. So on this spreadsheet, this black line represents the point when I got to five GPUs in the rig. So this is where I was about to put it into production. And as you can see over here, with some recommendations from you all, I was able to get this upwards of about 0 0.224 mega hash per watt. And I've been bouncing around 0 0.226, 0 0.22. I was never able to really get to 0 0.23 or 24 mega hash per watt for the entire rig, not for one GPU, for the entire rig. And that put me at about 29, 29 and a half, somewhere in there, mega hash per GPU, per GPU. So that's an average for all five GPUs. Where I could really use your help, guys, is taking a look at these iterations. You can pause it or I'll post a link to the spreadsheet if you wanna use it or if you just wanna take a look at, at how I've walked through this, I could really use some help for any better suggestions you might have. Where we ended, spoiler alert here, is a max rig efficiency in the 0 0.22 range, which had me at 133 watts per GPU. Now before we get too carried away with that, this includes, because it's the rig wattage, total rig wattage. This includes the motherboard, risers, everything is hurting this. Now, as you saw from the last video, we were at about 18 watts on each riser, about 18 watts on each riser when we were idle. And then you still have the motherboard and CPU, RAM, all that stuff. So if we were to subtract all of that out, a good guesstimate is we're probably around 110 watts per GPU. I don't know if that's good for these 478 gigabyte cards. You guys tell me, should I be able to get these lower than that? We're at uh, about 29 and a half, 29-ish mega hash per GPU. Are there settings, guys, where I should be able to get lower than that? For example, I tried this RX Boost, and I understand there's some differences in Hive on how this is applied versus Windows, but it really, it, it, I could not find the right balance where it helped me. Initially, it just cranked up my wattage through the roof, and I was able to come in and find some other settings where I was trying to balance that out, but I never really could find a way to, to land on that, to finish with taking advantage of any kind of RX boost here. But let me know, I mean, should I be able to get under 110 watts per GPU here, or should I just be happy with that? I feel like, I should be able to get less than that. So for example, if I compare this to my 1660 Ti's or my 1660 Supers, and those are ultra efficient cards, so that's an extreme example, but I'm able to get those to 70 watts, 70 watts at 30 mega hash per GPU. Okay, last thing before we jump in, I, I do wanna give a shout out to several of you all. I really appreciate the help. I think that the folks in Discord 
are really not mentioned enough. It's it's just we, we owe you guys so much thanks. Boris for helping out with some settings and some recommendations based on your rigs. Definitely Khaled, who's helping out every single day, provided a bunch of recommendations. I tried some of these, you can see in my notes here, from Cat Lover. I grabbed some of his settings. Now, I did do some BIOS mods. They didn't really help a lot. I, and I don't know if that's because I've got minor edition cards. I'm not sure what's up with that. You guys take a look at it. I, I, I really don't know. Uh, uh, should I have expected more from BIOS mods in, in this case on these cards, it didn't seem to help. And let me go ahead and give a shout out to Savage Mine and Crypto Mikel. They've got a couple videos that help walk me through that. It was pretty simple. And I'm sure all you AMD guys are gonna know exactly what's going on, but <laughs> um, these 470s, now they are the mining edition. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but if you look here, you can see where I have modded four of them and of those the performance I, it's good and bad i mean all four of these these first four right here are modded and the hash rate doesn't seem to have benefit uh from it so i don't know if like for example these at 27.99 versus the ones at 29 both those have been modded but check this out so this last one which has no vBIOS history. I have not modded it yet. It's at the same, look at that, 28 mega hash, and it hasn't been modded yet. So it's right there with these two other cards that are at 27.99 or 28 that have been modded. Just wanted you guys to see that. I'm gonna mod this last one here, and we'll see what happens. All right, so we have added the fifth card we BIOS modded the fifth card, and we are currently at 142.1 mega hash. Rig is averaging 28.42 mega hash per GPU. And our average dropped a little bit since we upgraded from four cards because that last card we dropped in is only at 27.99 mega hash instead of the 29 that two of these others are at. So we're gonna have to do some tweaking here but so far, I'm fairly happy with this. Now let me show you the power supplies. For the whole rig, we're at about 638 to 640 watts. Just for the server power supply, we're at 634. So you can see we haven't approached 80% yet. And notice that the power supply is still staying pretty quiet. And we got a little bit further to go though. We're gonna test a few more settings and see what we can optimize on this rig. Okay, Raptors, that's gonna do it for today. Before we, we run long, there was a lot of work put into this particular video and getting this thing up and running. This rig is in production now. It's been running pretty solid. And I know in several of these segments, I said I'm happy with the results, but really, I, I could use your help, just like I said in the beginning, is how do I get this number lower? How do I get this rig more efficient? Because I haven't worked on AMD rigs before, guys. I could really use your help. Let me know, or should I just be happy with what I've got? I'm looking for your feedback in the comments below. Okay, thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Back from the dead.